Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to try my best to avoid this microphone and show you some sculpting with the Oculus Quest 2 and the link cable connecting to it to a PC and I'm going to be running Adobe Medium which I've not used since Adobe took it over but it looks the same. It seems to crash a few more times. I've only really been working with it for about half an hour, 45 minutes but what I'm going to do is import um, a mesh into this and then see if I can sculpt it in here and uh, just see how good it is compared to desktop uh, 2D sculpting applications. So if you haven't used this before, you've got your sort of tool on the side here. You can undo, redo here. You can choose between these various different things. And what I'm going to go to is this menu down here and see if I can import something. An FBX file. As I say, I've got my microphone here, so it's quite hard to... can't see that in VR, so we're trying to avoid that, but... Let's see how this goes. There, there it is there, showing up there. It comes in very large. Just resize it and... I have had this with the material before, so I don't know where it's gone, but maybe there's a setting to turn it on, but... This is the shoe that I scanned in a previous video on my iPhone 12. Just using photogrammetry and you can see that in my previous videos and it's imported in here as a reference mesh first. So whilst you can sculpt not affecting this geometry and it's glitching a little bit as well so what I'm going to do is see use this option here to copy to clay and hope that it doesn't crash and convert it into a, a mesh that I can sculpt on so after what seemed like ages and a couple of crashes I think I've got my mesh here ready to go. Let's just have a look at some of these tools then. We'll start with the move brush and there we're manipulating the mesh like you would in Blender or Z brush and it's not performing badly considering I'm, I'm recording this at the same time as well on OBS and what you also have here is obviously your standard clay tools here This swirl one's quite a lot of fun. Don't know what you would do with it, but there you go. Flatten, let's see what that does. That's pretty cool as well. So it's actually a, um, I mean, I've used this before. It's quite, it's, it's quite an innovative application. I can't see how much it's improved since Adobe have taken it over. The last time I used it was by Oculus on the actual Rift but it seems to be pretty much the same. It's crashed for me quite a few times. Nothing's really changed in terms of it handling high resolution meshes but you wouldn't expect it to being a VR app. Um, I mean it's not, it's not ready to replace 2D tools just yet but it's a lot of fun seeing the 3D scan there in front of you and being able to use some of these um, quite innovative tools to sculpt in full 3D like the spray paint one's pretty cool and yeah you can have a lot of fun with this really if I had a bit of a more interesting scan here I could um, and uh, it's a bit bigger selection of paint tools maybe I'm sure there's so much they could do with this I feel and if it ever comes to it not having the link cable you could um, Could maybe one day capture and have it straight on the device and be able to sculpt immediately. So let's see if we can use it for anything actually useful so you can smooth these bits down maybe I'm 
sure about that. Anyway, that's about as much fun as I'm going to have with this before I get dizzy. But there you have it, imping your 3D scans into Adobe Medium and sculpting them with the tools that you get here on the Oculus Quest 2 using the link cable. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Let me know what you